Good morning, everybody. And so uh, this is going to be a wow Wednesday because I have not done a YouTube video in a little while. And so today I am going to do a what I'm calling border boxes. I've seen some other people do these. Um, I kind of just figured out some of the design on my own. Another advisor had actually done something similar to this. So you may have even seen these and you can do them. But mainly I'm just kind of showing you the power of our border cartridges, okay, and our border maker system. Uh, again, I'm Connie Skaggs, and I'm from Ladson, South Carolina, which is right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. And um, so anyway, uh, I am a Creative Memories advisor, and if you do not have an advisor, I'd be glad to be your uh, advisor. I always put my link in my uh, YouTube video. Uh, if you already have an advisor, then you order from them. That's what you should be doing. And so, um, but if you're interested in even becoming an advisor, do not have anybody that you're close to or upline or whatever, I'm part of a great team. And so um, it would be uh, great to have you uh, join my team. So, um, and that way then you earn some commission straight off of uh, anything you purchase or your friends purchase. And even if there's just a few that gets around your table and you know, um, CM has a great uh, program great uh, join offer and um, they pay you to join, believe it or not. Your first fee is $49 for a year uh, annual fee. And they turn around and give you a $50 credit to start out with to, instead of sending you a box of stuff that you don't need, they give you a $50 credit so you can order what you want. If you wanna do a class or not do a class and you just want it for your own advantage. So it's totally up to you. Uh, there's more about that. And I'd be glad to uh, share with you. Just contact me and I will be glad to get back with you. And so you can always find me on the website. And so um, it's uh, it'd be great to let you be a part of uh, a group that I'm part of. And I do Zooms. And so it doesn't matter where you're at and things like that. So it's a uh, it's a great connection. We have part of a we have a great community, and I really enjoy that. So, but anyway, I'm going to change my camera because um, I'll show you a little. I'll show you one page that I did, and we're going to make something similar to this. And so, um, I've kind of got some pieces already cut, but I'm going to show you about our our border maker. So let me change my camera. And I hope you're having a wonderful day today. All right, so this is what I'm calling these uh, border boxes is what I call because actually we make a border first and then we cut it and then we put it on, uh, you know, a little coordinating uh, mat so that you, you know, it kind of pops out and you could use it any place on a page. And so, uh, and then of course, uh, this is the page that I ended up putting it on. So, um, and we're going to do a little bit different cut than these just because I want to explain something to you about our border system. I know I've talked about the border system before because you have the housing, and this was the special color of the blue one that comes with a, I don't know, I'm not even sure if it's still available, that it comes with the frosted um, cupcake uh, border maker cartridge that you can't get any other way uh, and stuff. So uh, anyway, but um, it's got this, little guide that's on the back and it flips out here. And so this is what you line your paper up with. And of course, all these little notches, they match up with the notches on here. Once you put them in the housing, the housing is got a little button on the back that releases the cartridge. But see, you just put it in, the creative memories sign goes in, snaps. And so that stays. And of course, when you push it down and you can just punch this, as a punch, you know, say uh, you wanted to do a journal box and you just wanted one punch. And if you just kind of line that up on both sides and you punch it and see, then you could use this on your page as your journal box. And it's got this little design in it. So you can use them like that. It's just straight as a punch. But when you do it in the unit, you would take, um, your paper, which has to be at least long enough to go in here and um, 
this go this lever goes down it's got a little um uh, like magnetic so to speak uh strip that just kind of stays together there and so it holds your paper in place well then you got to take this guide and push it back over because all it is it's got this so it lines up and this now it knows how far this is from each other you know or to got slip in so that these things can go in together and course them. So then you've got it and you're going to push it goes right inside here and see and you you got to be sure it levels up you know with the notches. I'm sorry. So you can see when it levels up with the notches. Now there's this little bitty indention, little plastic piece there. And there's a little plastic uh, piece right here. And so those two also, when you see that lines up right here, lines up with that. So you know that you're inside there. And of course, then all you do is punch down. Well, then you would kind of move it out, move it down to the next one and make sure that fits again. So, and we do this six times if you're making a border. And so I'm just kind of, this is just a refresher on it. We've got this little string that wants to hang on. We don't want that. And so there would be that border. Now this one is a is what we would call an edge border because it's staying on the page. It's staying on the edge of the paper. And so then I would trim it however wide I wanted it. Um, and so I've cut one out here in blue. And I've kind of got it because I'm going to build on it. I've kind of I placed it on my uh, straight trimmer and had these at I believe two inch, yes, at the top, and then I just cut it straight. So just letting you know. And so that's how you use the border maker system. So uh, from there, and I'll put that aside. Wipe all this off because I don't need this trash in my way. And um, you know, and of course, we've got this new, um, I'll show you this one that I, I punched out all ago. I'm not using this one at this time. Hmm. But this is the dolphin, the new dolphin, uh, dolphin punch. And of course, you've got these little, you know, negative dolphins that come out too. So that could be out on your page stuff. But because this was a flat edge at the top, I didn't really want that because I'm kind of got this idea of, you know, using it to where you've got a skyline in the back. And so that could be, and I could have taken some scissors and just cut it kind of randomly around those. And that would have worked. I just didn't want to take the time to do that at this point. And so, but for our base, these white pieces on this one, it's going to be two and a quarter by two and a half. So I cut a two and a half inch strip and then I turned it and cut them to two and a quarter inch each. Um, and I know that's a little bit odd size, but almost every one of our punches, um, whenever we've, um, when we've punched that single punch, like I did here, this is at a two inch mark. And so it kind of gives those boats, you know, in a good, you know, uh, you know, layout and stuff. So, so it's, it's just gonna make it easier. Now, if I didn't attach those all together, then I could flip the boats either side so that they would look different like they did. Now this one, I'd cut at two and a quarter. So I had to, some are to the edge so far, and then it's this other piece of this little boat. And, and so I was flipping around back and forth, but I could only get four out of my 12 inch strip. And this other way, I can actually get six out of it. So we will try this and see, I've just kind of was doing some remeasuring. And so uh, now I'm going to try to build the board. Now my base strip is two and a quarter by 12 inches. And I used a light blue because like I said, I just wanted to have a, a sky look to it. And so then I'm going to uh, attach this just to where I have a little bit of a, a sky showing. And this could really be smaller uh, and not so thick. So you could do it that way, but I want to be sure that I have room to, um, you know, have uh, the waves kind of like showing or what I'm going to use. Okay. 
So hopefully this will make some sense. And it's just not gonna go all the way down to the edge. I should have cut a little bit more off of it just so it wouldn't be building so thick. But anyway, um, and I'm a little off there. This blue piece underneath was a little bit longer, I think, than the 12 inch. Yes, it is. So I will just do that to one side and that way then I can trim it off at the end. It'll be fine. And so. Just kind of making that even. So then I'm gonna put that down and don't worry about this. I'll just, we'll just trim it off later. And so then I've got, um, now this is off of our uh, decorative trimmer. And this is a swell, they call this a swell. And so if you've got a piece of paper uh, that you're putting in, of course this has got a little bit of some notches on it from where I've cut something else, I'm sure. But of course the first cut you wanna do is just to get the swell, so to speak, on there. And so it doesn't matter, you just want a little bit of that off and you can put it all the way up the edge or down at the bottom. And so then you're just gonna cut it like this. Now, this is one piece that I could use if I was gonna do another piece of blue, which I'm not gonna do this color blue. And so that would make it offset because the next one, see, uh, you can tell how that kind of goes up over. It's just opposite of what I'm gonna be doing. And so if I cut a straight piece here, then that would be the next one, you know. Um, and I just, I think that's confusing the way I just explained that. But it will make sense. So this was the edge of one that I had done. And so I've done a white piece. And so let's attach it. It might make more sense as we start putting this together. Of course, I've got that handy dandy little, uh, you know, mat that doesn't have any, nothing sticks to it, silicone mat. And so this will be kind of like my first wave, so to speak. And so it's a going one way. Well, then I've cut a piece going the opposite way out of this island waters. And so I'm going to use it. And, you know, I just randomly cut a little strip. So it just is enough to go down on here. And so I want to cover up part of that white. And yet just let it be kind of look like natural waves, so to speak, or some waves. And of course, what is happening when these are cut, they're going to look different. And then I've got a piece of the brown here. This brown was from a paper buffet. It's called Camel. And also in our top loading pages, the last set I got, because they randomly put in different colors that they have extras of. And they put this in there and I love this color brown because it made, reminds me of sand. And so I thought, well, that would go perfect there. So then if you don't have that, you know, just use you something else, whatever you'd want, um, you know. So I'm just gonna put it kind of at the edge because this is gonna be the bottom of the border. And so I've got another little swell going on there. And, you know, and if you offset them, it looks different. Now, one of our border maker cartridges we have, and it's been out for a little bit, and this is um, called the Sea Star Chain. And so I thought, well, that would be pretty. I know they're a little bit out of, uh, they're bigger than the boats, and we'll just have to think that the boats are in the back and, and all that. We had a sandcastle punch, but it's um, been, they've run out of it it's uh but that one looked perfect that's the one that i used on this one here you know was a sandcastle punch that we had so if you have that one that one works well but i was trying to make a little border that would go good for a uh, you know beach scene summer um you know just fun fun times and I'm just kind of putting it more of it down in the brown and, you know, uh,
So just kind of like that. So, all right. So that's our border that we're doing. However, now you will take your trimmer. Doesn't matter. I mean, I've got two trimmers. I mean, I've used these 12 inch trimmers but because I'm just using a straight blade. And this one is the special edition trimmer that we had as far as that goes. And these trimmers are excellent. You know, they these come in and out. You can't get cut on those. You have to this housing has to push it down in order for the blade to even show. And so that's what happens when you engage it down. You've got the mats here with the numbers and you change these to four different numbers. You've got a one, a two, three, and a four by flipping it so that you can get at least 500 cuts per, um, you know, strip, you know, per strip line. Because if not, then when you get ready to score something, it gets in the groove and stuff. You have this arm on here that extends out to 16 inches, but most of our papers are only 12. And so you can cut down any size that you want to. It's got the extra things here to show you a three by three, a four by six, four and a half by six and a half, and a five by seven if you're trying to line something up. It also has a 45 degree line if you want to cut anything on an angle or you want to make a mitered corner on a piece of paper. So you've got a couple of strips. Um, and um, let me just show you that real quick. Okay, these are a couple random pieces of paper. They're not even two 12 inch strips, but let's say that I line them up. And um, if I do it to the point, and of course we've got these little guides in here that's at the top and this little black line will show you exactly where it's gonna cut. So I wanna be sure it's gonna go right over that corner. And it is, so then there, We've got that cut. This can be set to the side, but you take these two pieces of paper and uh, this is an easy way to make a minored corner without them looking like they're overset. So how cool is that? And how easy was that? You know, perfect. Uh, the trimmer just has such good qualities. And believe me, I've had probably every trimmer out there and uh, this by far exceeds them all to me. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this. Now you could do it on your personal trimmer if you want to, it's a little thick, so you really have to push down on it, but you only want it at two inches because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this at two inches and you can do it at the top or the bottom. I think I'll do that at the bottom just because um, I can put more pressure down here at the moment. And evidently, I did not put enough pressure. There we go. So this is our first one. And then, of course, when we push it on here, it'll have about a quarter inch mat around it. So this ends up matting it. And so my only thing about this is because that every boat would be the same way. If I chose to skip one and say I come over here and I just took off this one here and in, in between. I know it's a little one, but let's just leave him alone. And then uh, let's turn this around so we can cut it at two inch. This is all I'm doing is putting it on the two inch mark. Just pull that to be sure. And see, then that gives me you know, the boats are going, they're different. So, and we could do one on each side every time. And I know that it might look a little confusing from what I'm doing because I'm flipping it around but only because that's the way I want to be sure I have alternates. And of course, then we're gonna come down to this last one. And we're just gonna come down at two inches. And we got these two little pieces, which you know what, we can put them together here. These two could go together because that star is gonna match up actually. 
you know, just because of the way the patterns are running. But I basically wanted four of these to go down the side. And then I have a couple others to put on, say, over on another page or whatever to make it like a, um, a book, you know, or I mean a little box, a little embellishment. So let's just quick add these. I always forget to look up in my camera to be sure I'm showing you all the same thing I'm seeing. And I had pre-cut those ahead of time, but like I said, remember they were two and a quarter by two and a half for the base of these squares. That's the border boxes, but the strip was the whole thing that we did. So, and of course I'm using our repositional tape just because it is easy to match up. If I need to move it around, I could. Uh, it's a little thick there just because I've layered those things, but it's not bad. And that's it. And you know, and if you wanted to do two and a half by two and three quarters, you would have a bigger, um, you know, border around it, which that would look sharp too. I, I like the quarter inch border, but I thought since these were really tiny, uh, they would maybe look better. I'll see that one I've got off. So this is why I like the repositional tape. I just pick it up and move it over. I also thought I'd let you know something else. On this board, sometimes we get the little things, and I have this little rubber um, eraser kind of. It's not a, it doesn't erase pencil. It erases little uh, stickies on your mat. And and you know, CM used to have these, but they don't have them any longer. But I just picked these up, believe it or not, at the craft store or at the in the craft department at the dollar store. So these are like a dollar and a quarter now because it went up a little bit as everything else has went. So I want two to have my boats on this side and two to have the little sailboats on this side. And this one will be an extra one. Now this one, like I say, I'll show you this. Uh, We've got these two pieces here. I'll go ahead and put one in here. And then let's go ahead and put this other one right next to it. And if that doesn't bother you, you know, you can leave it. But what if um, I just wanted, well, let just don't do, yeah. This one needs a little trimming off of it because of that piece. But if we just added this little bit here and made this a journal box, you know, or what if we only had, um, didn't have that punched out at the top and uh, and let's trim. Normally, I would trim this on the trimmer. I'm just trimming off that uh, extra. And what if we had this? And this would be our journal box. Um, or if we'd done them right here in the middle. on each side. You know, I mean, it's just it's just a, a little way to play with those. Since I didn't really cut those the same, I wanted them to look different. So, okay. Now, our page, which um, this one, and I've done this border before where I've cut out the center you know, and this is like a scrap, you know, this is our index card piece that comes with the paper. And so I cut out, so I had blue left from this one, this navy, and I had the navy piece, and then I could use it for match here if I wanted to. But 
Let's see which one looks best with this. I also have this piece that I've cut. This is 10 inches by 10 inches. So I can just put it straight on, you know, if I didn't want to cut out that center, you know, and say I'm going to use it in a uh, top loading because I want to use the backside maybe as another page. So I've got this collar here, which is the Island Waters. And uh, these could go um, down through here. I kind of like that. That's a that's a good combination. And then, you know, this one could be over here, here. It could be on another page if you wanted to do your journaling over there. A couple different ideas. Then what if I do the blue, which is the same color as the boats. Let's just center this up here. And the other one I'd use navy as my boats. And this one I use this as our regular blue. And I kind of like these all angled. But you know, uh, I was thinking of the other punches that could be used to do something like this. Home sweet home. It's got the little houses. It's an edge punch. Um, the uh, citrus uh, border maker cartridge is an edge punch. The, uh, I forget, I, I don't, I just can't remember them all and I didn't pull them. I didn't take time to pull them. But, you know, we have so many, there's ways to do that. You don't even have to put something else down here if you don't want to. Just put the houses and maybe, you know, a couple. You could make, you could just do the little swells if you wanted to. You don't have to. You can, uh, you know, it's, you know, maybe you do the home by home and, and then, you know, use one of these, something like this little punch here on it across through there. The home, sweet home, and then maybe cut this. Here, just a kind of little embellishment. Um, a little, another strip of uh, designer paper, um, kind of some different things that would work. So anyway, hopefully you like that. Uh, please let me know which paper you like in your comments. Do you like the island waters uh, with the white? You know, with these? Do you like the blue? The regular blue. I thought if I used the light blue, it would be too bright, too uh, light color with the white and stuff. But, you know, um, using either one of those. Now, this is the piece, the map that I took out of the center of the other one because I had to have a little edge, you know, to put that on. But this is, um, I'm going to say eight and a half. Oh, it's nine inches. So that's a good size, uh, nine inches by nine inches. I can cut it in half and have um, four and a quarter by four and a quarter squares, I believe. Yes, should be able to do four. And so then you could have four by fours on here, um, you know, uh, whatever else. I have a scrap of this. So, you know, these could be uh, used for mats. This would be perfect in this combination. So. Lots of good combinations. And of course, I'd always like to try to take a picture and show you later. But um, anyway, hopefully you like that. So let me uh, scoot back over to my screen. And um, so anyway, just trying to give you a little bit of uh, a refresher on our border maker cartridges our border maker system, our trimmer, which those things are invaluable. And so um, on previous uh, videos, I know I've showed some of those. I've showed how to take out the square in the center. I've showed how to cut mats for the four and a half by six and a half mats out of one piece of paper. So uh, you can always do a refresher on any of those. Hmm. Hopefully that will um, help you in conserving some of your paper, but also in your scrapbooking needs, because immediately you put a picture straight on those, and uh, that uh, is, uh, is wonderful. So, you know, works well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this today. Um, another thing, too, is if you don't have that trimmer, and it's $49, uh, but if you choose to join, you know, so you want to join on my team or join under me or, you know, um, so you can 
um, get your, you know, have a little bit of commission come back on the products that you already buy. Um, you know, you take and use that first $50 um, CM credit that they send you in the email and it'll be right in your account. And, um, you know, and so that's already paid for. And, you know, if you order a couple other things, you know, it's a pretty good deal. Our border manager system is $35.50. It comes with one cartridge according to which one you get, whether you get the original, which comes with the pickup fence. The pickup fence is another one that would work up here. Matter of fact, if you've done the home sweet home and done the picket fence at the bottom, it would it kind of, you know, remind you of your house or a house or whatever or home. So there's a lot of different ways that you can uh, make a, you know, value into what, you know, a, say a, a more expensive item that would be a one shot. It's like, OK, we all like the paper. We all love stickers. We all love the embellishments. And, you know, and you feel like, oh, I can get three of those things, you know, for the price of this, or I can get four of these or five of these for the price of the trimmer. So every once in a while, you want something that's just going to put you over the edge and say, oh, if they send me $50, I can get that bigger item. So, you know, it's a, it's a deal. But anyway, let me know if I can help you. I'd be glad to um, help you not make it uh, scary for you at all. And so I appreciate the others that have joined me uh, from afar as well as near. And uh, so I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, enjoy my YouTube videos. Again, this is Connie Skaggs from Charleston, South Carolina, your creative mentoring advisor. Thank you. <laughs>